Leon Edwards produced one of the most incredible, unforgettable title-winning knockouts in UFC history on Saturday when he finished Kamaru Usman with just 56 seconds remaining in the UFC 278 headliner to claim the welterweight championship and become the second British title holder in UFC history, joining Michael Bisping. This was just one of the craziest things in the history of the sport, one of the craziest things I could ever witnessing from cage side, from home wherever it may be. It was just unbelievable. I think it's pretty clear this sets up a trilogy fight between the two. That seems to be next. Edwards open to it. UFC president Dana White open to it. I think that is probably the direction we go unless Kamaru Usman, for whatever reason, holds up this fight, whether it's health reasons or just needs the time to train, to do whatever he needs to do to get his body, his mind right. This, again, was a very, very bad knockout on his behalf, and I could see him maybe wanting to wait a little bit. Dana White telling me at the post-fight press conference that it'll probably be a little while until this fight gets made anyways. They're schedule for the UFC is booked up through January at this point. They want to do it in the UK, perhaps at Wembley in London. That would be something unreal, but I think the person that could potentially change the plans here would be one Hamzat Chemaev. We know he is fighting Nate Diaz at UFC 279 on September 10th. We know Chemaev is a big star on the rise. He's got his following. He's got his support. And I think he has his history with Edwards too. Of course, they were booked to fight each other several times. And I think if Chemaev goes out there and does something spectacular against Nate Diaz in their fight, perhaps the narrative changes at that point. So I think he is definitely the dark horse here who could alter the narrative here. But I think if everything goes as it should, everything goes normal, Kamaru Usman, of course, more than deserving of that shot. Leon Edwards, his first title defense, if he could get it at home in the UK, that would be something very, very special for him. An incredible moment to be able to go home, especially if they're able to pull it off in Wembley, some 90,000 fans or less. It would just be a very, very remarkable moment, and I think Leon Edwards more than deserving of it. So I think we need to see how things play out here in the next coming weeks and months, but I do think Usman deserves that trilogy fight I think Edwards is open to giving him that opportunity and I think that's where we go from here but again do not count Hamza Chemaev out of the mix if he is able to defeat Nate Diaz in impressive fashion I've been dying the whole night now look at me now look at me now